Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to discuss smart tariffs. The complicated world of energy tariffs can be confusing at times, but I do think it's worth putting some effort in to determine which is the best tariff for your energy usage, especially since the energy crisis and how much electricity and gas now costs. Today I hope to break down what a smart tariff is, who can have one, which ones are available that will suit your needs, and how they might even save you a lot of money compared with a standard flexible tariff. So stay tuned. So let's start with the basics. What is a smart tariff? Smart tariffs, or time of use tariffs as you may hear them called, offer electricity at varying prices throughout the day. The national grid demand curve looks something like this, and the aim of these smart tariffs is to smooth this curve towards a straight line as much as possible. Usually these tariffs offer electricity at a cheaper rate for time periods during the night when there is much less strain on the grid, and sometimes in excess or oversupply of energy being provided by wind farms during a windy night for example. The electricity produced at this time usually comes from greener sources as well, so it's in everyone's interests to use more power during this time, and less during the spikes in the demand curve between usually 4 and 7 pm when everyone gets in from work, cooks the tea and puts the TV on. These tariffs essentially reward the customer for shifting their usage off-peak where possible by offering the much cheaper rate during the off-peak times, and in turn reducing the bills. The consumers benefit, and the suppliers benefit as well because they don't have to pay expensive rates to start up a backup gas or coal plant for example to cover the high demand during peak hours so who can have a smart tariff in order to get signed up to a smart tariff you'll need a smart meter smart meters send your gas and electricity usage in near real time back to the supplier this saves you as the customer having to provide manual readings from your meters but also allows you to make use of some of these creative tariffs there are different types of smart meters so it's important to understand which if any that you have the latest version at the time of making this video in May 2023 is SMETS 2. SMETS stands for Smart Metering Equipment Technical Specifications and the number following this is the generation of the meter. Before this version was SMETS 1. Without getting too technical, the main difference in these is how they communicate back to the supplier with your energy usage. SMETS 1 used a mobile network to communicate, meaning that some areas with poor network signal could not have a smart meter. SMETS 2 uses a bespoke secure data network known as the DCC, or Data Communications Company. The older SMETS 1 meters also had issues if you switch suppliers as well, as your meters may not communicate with the new supplier. SMETS 2 meters overcome this issue, and you are able to switch supplier as many times as you want, and your smart meter will still communicate with them. As long as you have a working version of a SMETS 2 meter, or some types of SMETS 1 meter are also compatible, then you're ready to switch to a smart tariff. Be sure to double check if you do only have a SMETS 1 meter as some aren't compatible with these smart tariffs. So how do you choose a smart tariff? If you watched any of my other videos, firstly, thank you. And secondly, you will know that I'm a big fan of Octopus Energy and their innovative smart tariffs. I genuinely believe that they want to save the customer money whilst also trying to decarbonize the grid at the same time. In this video, I will only be talking about Octopus's range of smart tariffs. Some other suppliers may have their own versions or limited versions of these, but Octopus are streets ahead in terms of flexibility that they offer the customer dependent on their needs. Which tariff is best for you will depend on a number of factors. Do you have an electric vehicle for example? Do you have a heat pump heating your home? Or do you even have solar panels and a battery for example? If you like this video and find the content valuable and would like to make the switch to Octopus NG for a smart tariff or any of their other tariffs, there is a link on the screen now. If you sign up using this link, you will get £50 credit added to your account when you are set up. I will also get £50 for referring you. Thanks to everyone that's used this link so far. I also want to say at this point, I'm not an expert and everyone should do their own research to determine which tariff is best for their own personal circumstances, but I do hope that this will provide a guide that will explain the tariffs, who are the benefit, and which one may suit your needs the best. Which tariff options are available? I'm going to discuss seven of Octopus's tariffs today, some of which are classed as smart and some aren't, but have smart features on them, and we'll talk about the main features of each and who they are designed for. Most of these tariffs are what Octopus call beta, which essentially means they're in a testing phase and could contain bugs or things that go wrong. However, personally, I've never heard of anyone having issues with them at all. I've also included the current prices as of May 2023 for all the tariffs where possible. Although, of course, this is likely to change as time moves on. The first tariff I'm going to be looking at is Agile Octopus. This tariff has jumped in and out of favour for consumers over the past years for various reasons. It's based around wholesale rates that the supplier pays for rates of electricity. These rates are passed on to the consumer with a markup, so if Octopus buy the energy for cheap, then you get the energy cheaper. If they pay more, then you pay more. 
This is broken down into half hour slots throughout the day and prices for all these tariffs can be tracked on Energy Stats UK, a great site for those that like data like me, which I'll link in the description. Octopus describe Agile as perfect for those with electric vehicles, storage heaters or anyone who can shift their electricity use outside of peak times. The latest tariff as of May 2023 has a price cap of £1 per kilowatt hour of electricity used, meaning the price you pay could increase to way beyond what you would pay on a normal flexible tariff, although over the past few months as wholesale rates have dropped it's not hit anywhere near these rates. That doesn't mean it couldn't in future though. They also offer what Octopus call plunge pricing, this is when more electricity is produced than can be consumed by the grid and prices are sometimes negative. Yes, they pay you to use electricity. This is more rare now than it once was, but again, this is all about smoothing that demand curve as much as possible. Like most of these time of use tariffs, they offer cheap electricity overnight and more expensive rates during peak time, usually around 4 to 7 p.m. They also offer an export version of this tariff as well as import, in previous years this was a great tariff for those with home solar and battery during spring and summer as it did offer very generous export rates per kilowatt hour. Although these have fallen recently and better options may be available now, depending on what you generate, use and export. Octopus Cozy is the next tariff I want to discuss. This is quite a new tariff introduced by Octopus designed for customers with heat pumps in the home. Obviously as time goes on there's going to be more and more heat pumps installed in the UK and Octopus want to appeal to these consumers and offer them cheaper rates to heat the home. Octopus describe it as the smart electricity tariff designed to keep heat pump homes toasty and this tariff has two off-peak time periods of three hours each where electricity is cheaper to buy than an expensive peak period where you will pay more and the idea is that the customers would crank their heat pump up during the two low price periods and that residual warmth would heat the home during the peak period while the heat pump runs at a lower temperature. It then offers a standard rate for the rest of the day. Again, all about smoothing that demand curve. To be eligible for this tariff, you must have a heat pump. The next tariff is Octopus Flux. You may have heard me talk about this tariff in my other videos and this is the tariff that I'm currently on. If you want to watch the video where I talk about Octopus Flux in more detail, click the video in the top right now. In my opinion, and especially at this time of the year during spring and summer, it's a fantastic tariff to be on if you have home solar and battery storage and you export a lot of energy. On this tariff, Octopus say you can unleash the potential of solar and storage to reduce your bills and this is exactly what the tariff does. This is both an import and export tariff and offers a cheaper three hour off peak window between 2 till 5 a.m. a day rate and then an expensive off peak rate. It also offers the same for export as well. A cheaper time during the night when the grid does not need your export, a day rate and then a peak evening rate which is probably the most lucrative offering for export on the market currently. To be on this tariff you need to have solar panels and a home battery installed. Octopus Go is another smart tariff that they offer and this is designed for customers with electric vehicles. Octopus describe it as Britain's most popular EV tariff and it's quite easy to see why. It makes driving an EV so cheap when compared with petrol and diesel equivalents and a big selling point for purchasing an EV. To be eligible for this tariff you need to have an electric vehicle and home charger. Again you get a very cheap overnight rate for 4 hours, this time between 12.30am and 4.30am when the idea is you can charge your car at the off-peak rate and it then has a rate for the rest of the day. Octopus Intelligent is similar to Octopus Go in that it's designed for electric vehicle users but there are a few subtle differences. Octopus described this tariff as the next generation tariff for electric vehicle charging. This one really is a smart tariff in the truest sense of the term in that it can provide windows where there is excess of energy to charge your car then stop charging your car outside of these windows when electricity supplies are tighter. All you need to do as a customer is state the charge you want your car to be at by a certain time and then let Octopus manage the rest. You can also do what Octopus call a bump charge if you need the car to be charged sooner. The customer is charged a low off-peak rate guaranteed for a minimum of 6 hours mostly throughout the night but sometimes this can be more. Again you need an EV to be eligible for this tariff. You also need to check whether your EV and charger are compatible for this tariff as it only works with certain EVs and chargers at present although this list is growing all the time. I expect we will see more and more tariffs like this in future where demand can be pushed and pulled by the consumer especially with the integration of V2G vehicle to grid. The next one is Economy 7. Economy 7 tariffs have been around for a long time and isn't really classed as a smart tariff as such but I thought it was worth mentioning still. Along similar lines to the rest of the tariffs it has a 7 hour cheaper rate during the night though usually not as cheap as the off-peak rates on Go or Intelligent usually between 12am and 7am and then a standard day rate for the rest of the time. This tariff was originally designed for those with storage heaters that could use the cheaper rate period to heat the homes during the night 
It can now be used by anyone that can shift their usage to overnight time periods, for example, users with battery storage or those working night shifts maybe, or those prepared to put the washing machine or dishwasher on during the night while they're asleep. Octopus Tracker is similar to Octopus Agile in many ways in that it follows the wholesale rate of electricity prices. However, this is calculated on a daily basis rather than a half hourly basis as it is with Agile. Octopus describe it as Octopus Tracker is Britain's first tariff to truly follow the wholesale price of energy. This tariff, as of May 2023, currently has a price cap of £1 as well, although again, prices have recently been way below this, and if you have been on this tariff versus a flexible tariff over winter, you would have saved some money over the last few months. There is also a waiting list to get on this tariff, and the only requirement is that you have a smart meter installed. So what do they all cost? Although it's quite difficult to summarise the costs for these as some are variable tariffs and even the fixed tariffs seem to be changing all the time. I've tried to do the best I can with these charts. Like I said earlier, it's important that you understand your own usage, the restrictions of the tariff I've mentioned and which one is likely to save you the most money. You can only really do this by understanding your current annual usage and taking note of whether any usage can be shifted to different times during the day. Where it gets a little tricky perhaps is when you have quite a lot of these options that are designed for each individual tariff. For example, if you have a heat pump and an EV, solar panels installed and a battery. This makes it a little trickier to determine which tariff is best. This is where it's really important to have a truly a good understanding of your own usage patterns for each device so you can do the maths and work out which option is best for you. Hopefully this video helps you to understand some of Octopus's most popular tariffs in more detail and helps you make the decision to switch if it's something you're considering. If so, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. This really helps my videos get more exposure to a wider audience and can hopefully help more people in turn. I'm also very close to reaching the milestone of 1000 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you so much to everyone that has liked my videos, commented and subscribed to the channel so far. I always enjoy hearing your experiences in the comments. So be sure to let me know which tariff you're on and how you're finding it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.